safely tucked away, Jameson? Yes, sir. Right. Open the door, and I'll get a confession from him right away. And now, Crocker. Where did he go? Close the street up at the end there. You can't get Spanish. Everybody up the end there. Close off the street at once. Close it off. Mr. I'm sorry to catch you in between this way, uh, but the situation's a bad one. You'll understand as soon as I explain. My name's Harry Crocker, and I'm up to my neck in... Uh, one moment, sir, one moment. I am Dr. Watson. This gentleman is Mr. Holmes. Oh, Mr. Holmes, you're the only man who can save me. My life, my career, my future, everything depends on... Save you from what, Mr. Crocker? And do sit down if you can find the time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, murder, I'm afraid. I've been accused of murder. Me? Wouldn't I? I'm here on a fly. Not on a fly. You understand a man of your intelligence and education. Crocker, did you say Harry Crocker? Oh, that's right, sir. Perhaps you've seen me perform at the local vaudeville theatre. Escape artist extraordinary. No door shackles or chains can contain me. Yes. Like it says on the billboard. Yes, quite. Who's accused you of what murder, Mr. Crocker? Who? The police walked right in and said, you're guilty, Harry Crocker. Then they whisked me away without another word. Not a word, mind you. Holmes? This is the man whose photograph was in the morning paper. He's a fugitive from the law. Oh, picture me. Is there any good? My right profile's the best. It always shows the... They said that you'd killed a young dancer called... Sally King. Yes. But you were taken into custody by the police. Well, that's what I said. Didn't you hear me? Anyway, I decided I'd better see Sherlock Holmes. So I left. You left? Holmes? This man may be dangerous. Never you fear, Dr. Watson. Easy going Harry Crocker, they call me. Always a smile and a song when things go wrong. You three go round the back. You two stay here. You wait in the doorway across the Lestrade, room. they're surrounding the house. You yeah, yeah, probably here, after me. Um, he won't get away from no, the I'll just duck in here a moment, just so as not to embarrass you gentlemen. You have already, sir. We're not in the habit of harboring fugitives. Mr. Holmes? I would not ask you gentlemen to do anything me. contrary to your conscience. I know he's in what? there. I don't have to remind you, Holmes, hiding a criminal is an offence. Open the door in the name of the law. All right, Holmes. Jefferson? Yes, sir. He was seen coming in here, Holmes. Now, you take it from me. You're skating on thin ice, very thin ice. If you're referring to Harry Crocker, he's in that cupboard. Harboring criminals, obstructing justice. And giving false information to the police. remarkable. That fellow certainly has flair. Don't you agree, Watson? I prefer that he practice somewhere else. Inspector Lestrade, what exactly is the case against Crocker? He's a murderer, as if you didn't know. Facts, Lestrade. Last night he left with a dancer. Later she was found strangled in an alley outside the stage entrance. Well, there must be more than that. The stage doorman said he heard them arguing. And a news vendor testified that Crocker left the alley alone. Now, is that enough for you? And Crocker denies these facts? No, he admits them. Well, then I don't see Wait the reason. Wait a moment now. We did quarrel, but I didn't kill her. Why should I? Where on earth have you come from? Bravo, Mr. Crocker. How did you manage it? You must tell me. Oh, it's really much simpler than it looks, Mr. Holmes. There's a few simple tricks on how to learn our business. Jameson, I'm arresting you for murder, Crocker. And none of your tricks this time, or it'll go hard for you. I'm warning you. Take him down to the yard and don't lose him this time. Will you help me, Mr. Holmes? We'll see, Mr. Crocker. You best go along with the officer now. I suppose you're right, Mr. Holmes. I'm warning you officially, Mr. Holmes. Don't interfere in this. <laughs> How did he manage to disappear inside this cupboard? Later that evening, Holmes and I went along to the Childress Theatre. Not to be entertained, mind you, though I dare say the day gave promise of that. We stopped for a moment to chat with the news vendor who repeated the story he had told Inspector Lestrade. Yes? 
Good evening, sir. Permit me to introduce my good friend, Dr. Watson. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Yes, indeed, Mr. Holmes. I'm Charlie Willis. I've heard of you, sir. I suppose you've come about poor Harry Crocker's trouble. Yes. Tell me, is there any other exit from backstage to the alley? None, sir. Only other way out is round through the front of the house. So anyone passing from backstage to the alley would have to pass your desk. I presume you remain on duty throughout all performances? I know what you're getting at, sir. Like I told the police, as soon as Harry walked out, the girl came chasing after him, buzzing like a hornet. And when did you next see her? Not until Miss Jaja came screaming back through that door. I ran out and found the girl lying there, dead. And neither Mr. Crocker nor the unfortunate victim returned through that door after you saw them leave? I'm afraid that's it, Mr. Holmes. It would seem that the inspector has a foolproof case, Holmes. This Miss Jaja, where might she be now? Girl's dressing room. Which one? They all use the same one. Second on your right. Uh, better give him a knock before you go in. We shall, sir, I assure you. Well, what is it? Pardon me, madam. We would like to speak to Miss Jaja. Busy. Have a show to do. Oh, Mr. Holmes. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Good evening, Dr. Watson. Pleasure to see you again. Crocker, I thought the police... Oh, I expect they'll be along again soon. How did you get loose this time? Well, I gave them a twist and a twirl, and while they're looking one way, I go out the other. Well, Mr. Holmes, have you cleared me? Not quite yet, Harry. It might prove easier if we could talk to Miss Jaja, but some authoritative old woman wouldn't let me in. Oh, Bessie, wait here a moment. Harry, get out. Oh, Harry, the left door. Hey, I'm not afraid. Come right in, gentlemen. Oh, hello. Dr. Watson, don't worry about that. Uh, this is Miss Zaza, singer extraordinary. <laughs> Tell Miss Holmes what he wants to know, Zaza. Oh, all right, Harry. Well, what would you gentlemen like to know? Sorry to inconvenience you in this way, Miss Zaza, but... Oh, that's all right. I understand it was you who first discovered Miss King's body. Oh. Yeah, I did. It was horrible. One minute she was sitting there next to me. Right where you are now, Mr. Holmes, I could touch her. And the next... Oh, it was horrible. Yes, I'm sure it was, Miss Sharjah. So you were here when Miss King came off stage last night, is that correct? Yeah, of course. Well, she was very angry and in a very big hurry. Well, she tore off her costume and... Excuse me. Then she put on her clothes and ran out again. Was she in a hurry to meet Mr. Crocker? Oh, was she? Wouldn't like to repeat what she said. Now, just to be certain, she rushed in here to change her clothes and then... Oh, and put on her locket. Locket? Ah, I knew I'd find you all together. Holmes, you have a great deal to explain this time. I'll be happy to, Miss Stroud, if you'll just let Miss Jaja finish what she was going to tell us. Well, what does she know about it? Well, I was only going to say that... Sally always used to wear this locket that Harry gave her when we opened here. Well, she couldn't wear it during the show, but she always put it on immediately afterwards. Locket? What's this about a locket? A little trinket. Didn't amount to a thing. Did Miss King put it on before she left the theatre last night? Oh, yeah. Said she wouldn't be caught dead without it. Oh. Was a locket found on the body? Well, he hasn't changed since last night. We haven't been able to hold him long enough to... I'll explain all this, Inspector. Why don't you listen to me? M Mr. Holmes... Ah. Jameson? Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, my poor Harry. Why did you murder her? Can't count a number, girl. I usually have morning visitors around here. Even with police permission. Here's your little lady. Mm. And the clothes she was wearing, may I see them? Yes, sir. Won't be a moment. Thank you. Obviously strangled. The placement of the finger marks... 
fear she was facing her assailant. Yet her own fingernails, which you'll notice are rather long, show no evidence that she'd much time to defend herself. I don't follow you, Holmes. What are you doing? Notice what you've done, Watson. You didn't attempt to beat me off. You merely tried to pull my hands away. That's right. Why? Well, because I, I didn't want to strike you. Why? Well, because I didn't want to injure you. But I was choking you. Holmes, you don't think that I believe you were serious. Exactly. What? You didn't believe I was serious because you know me too well. But if my attack had come at the end of a savage argument... That would have been different. You're getting to it now, Watson. Well, Harry Cocker and the girl did have a savage argument, and she would have clawed his face. But she didn't. So whoever attacked her was someone she knew very well. And Harry Crocker is telling the truth. And the Strad's case appears a little less than foolproof. Here they are. Just like they came off. Oh, yes. Sorry to trouble you at this hour. Ordinary street clothes, I'd say. Yes, Watson. We've already been told that the girl dressed quickly to catch Harry before he left the theatre. Observe, Holmes. The clothes show no sign of a struggle either. Quite. Quite. Has the body been treated in any way since his arrival? Oh, no, Mr. Holmes. Not before autopsy. You see her here just like they brought her in. 